It's been three and a half months since Michael Kim claimed the top prize at the 2018 John Deere Classic. Actually, Birdies for Charity awarded the top prize when it revealed that $13.4 million will be distributed to local charities. That pushes the total since the tournament began in 1971 to $107 million. 98% of that has come since John Deere became the title sponsor in 1998. We never take anything for granted, uh, the generosity of the community and the hard work of all these charities, like we mentioned. It's really a grassroots success story, 534 organizations working on their own behalf, Deere paying the administrative fees, so all the uh, donations that are pledged and um, uh, delivered get to the charities, and us putting on the tournament and giving as big a bonus check as possible. Uh, to exceed 13 million was something that, um, you know, we're pretty surprised by after exceeding 12 million last year for the first time. Fellowship of Christian Athletes is one of more than 500 local charities to receive funding from the Birdies for Charity program. It's great to know that all the people involved are thrilled to see how all of the charities put those dollars to work. I just was talking to a gentleman from uh, one of the charities and he said, you know, that $100 million means so much for the Quad Cities. You know, there's charities that are feeding people, clothing people, putting shelter over their heads and it just, it really brought it home for me today because it, you know, it's not about the athletic event for me. It's about about making the Quad Cities a, a better place, and we definitely got that accomplished today. Us as FCA, this is something we need to continue to take advantage of because um, it's trending in the right direction, and God is, uh, and the community is really wrapping their arms around charitable organizations, organizations that are doing good within the community, and I think Birdies is zeroing in on, on, on those individuals.